Hey, it's my Aunt Effie, and today I'm going to talk to you about a book I just finished reading this morning. It's so good. It's called The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, and it's by V.E. Schwab. So I got this book uh, because I joined a book club at my local library, and this is the book that we read this time. It took me a while. I didn't get right at it when um, I got home and so I had to kind of work a little bit. It's a little bit long but it was so good. Um, this was actually one of the best books I've read probably in the last year. Um, I would say, let's see, this has a copyright of 1920-20. So I, I think it, it might end up um, being considered one of the best books of the year. We'll see what happens. The book addresses our interest in being free. It starts out in 1703 with Addie LaRue and she makes a deal with a dark god. So. She's just about to be wed. She's in her wedding dress and she runs off into the woods. Everybody is calling for her because it's time to leave and go over to the chapel and um, marry someone. And she doesn't want to marry him. Uh, he lost his wife, has a couple kids, and Addie wants to travel. She wants to see new things. And these are just not things that are available in the time period that she's in. And so, you know, she just feels very trapped, very unhappy, and she's facing a life of drudgery and sameness, and it is just a fate that she can't face. So she's been talking to an older lady who tells her over the years, as Addie grows up, Addie's like 23 now, to, um, you know, if you want something from the gods, give them something and ask for it, but never, ever ask for anything um, from a god of the dark. But Addie doesn't realize it, but while she's in the woods, it changes from daytime to darkness, and she ends up asking for something from a dark god. And the deal she makes in her desperate state is a life that is free until she no longer wants it anymore. So the price that she pays is her soul. So the story takes us through 300 years of struggle, wars, uh, changing times, and it's all worth the pain for Addie because she gets to travel to new lands, she learns new languages, and she sees lots of interesting things and even though it's uh, very uh, hard for her, it's worth it. There is one very interesting restriction with the deal that she made and that is that no one can remember her. She cannot leave a mark in the behind her in the world. So whenever someone has their attention on her, it's fine, but when they their attention leaves and they come back to her, they don't remember her. And so she has no one to go through life with. She goes through life all alone because immediately when somebody meets her and looks away, the memory of her is gone. It's a fabulous story. And right up to the very last word of the very last paragraph of the very last page, it gets better and better. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm gonna read you a little bit of sample of a sample of the book and then we'll say goodbye. <sighs> the room goes quiet, marked only by the steady rain beyond the windows, the drowsy aftermath of passion, and soon she can feel him drifting down towards sleep. Addie looks up at the ceiling. Don't forget, she says softly, the words half prayer, half plea. Henry's arms tighten, a body surfacing from sleep. Forget what, he murmurs, already sinking again. And Addie waits for his breath to steady before she whispers the word to the dark, me. So, it's fabulous. You should read it. 
Uh, I think you'll like it. This is Aunt Effie, my Aunt Effie, saying goodbye.